Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about embouchures and how to use them effectively in providing fluidity among your different embouchures. So I personally have five different embouchures. It sounds really crazy on camera to say, but it makes sense if you think about it for a little bit. I have a low pedal register, I have a low register, and then I have a medium to medium high, and then I have a high register, and then for the extreme high, I use a completely different set of things. So, my low pedal register looks a little like this. My jaw is extremely out, really low in the mouthpiece, a lot of upper lip. Now you can't really hear a pitch in that, but that was a, a pedal double pedal C and double pedal B flat. So, uh, and then here's my low register. It looks a little more normal while you're playing. It's the one that you'll be using a little more in often in like an ensemble situation, especially in a jazz ensemble. And then I have my medium range. Then I have my high range. Then I have my extreme high range. Sorry, that first high G was kind of sketchy. But you get the typical idea. Now, providing fluidity among the different embouchures is really helpful with different exercises as the uh, there's a fifth studies I can't remember who wrote it but uh, it's literally just fifth now that really helps with your medium to low range embouchure which I love. That's my favorite range, to be honest. And then there's a few other exercises that I use to provide uh, a lot of good motion throughout the embouchures. It is actually mouthpiece buzzing. I know a lot of people frown on among mouthpiece buzzing. I do not. Um, I actually look at mouthpiece buzzing a little bit differently. Um, it's less to help of uh, pitch uh, ear training and more to do with tone production. So I don't know why I took it out, now, but I'm gonna play B flat. Now, what I want to do is make the best tone I can on this mouthpiece. I know it probably sounds like crap on camera, but it's really, really a lot better than your stereotypical. It's kind of a little more warm, a little bit more air to put through the mouthpiece. And I do that over a lot of arpeggios. And Sorry, a little bit of air leakage there. <laughs> but you get the central idea. Now, whenever you're doing different embouchures, it's really important to focus on where your pressure is being put. I used to tend to play with a very, very, uh, very hard pressure. That's not the way to word that, but oh well. I used to play with a lot of pressure on my face, sorry. <laughs> gets a little bit more of your standard trombone sound, but we're looking for a bass trombone sound. It's a little more warm to make it make it blend with the tube a little bit more, but still on the trombone side. Now to do that, you need a little bit less pressure on your face. Now here's here's your standard trombone tone. That's using a lot of pressure. You can actually kind of see the ring around my lips. Now here's your bass drum bone pressure. 
Oh, <laughs> 